Five times woke celebrities get absolutely obliterated by Ricky Gervais. You guys are not going to want to miss this. I had a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So if you win, right? Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and f off. Ricky Gervais is not taking it easy on woke celebrities in Hollywood, and it doesn't seem like he's stopping anytime soon. The British actor and comedian has been one of those leading the charge against wokeness, but when it comes to Hollywood, he's keen on exposing woke celebrities. Take the Golden Globe Awards, for instance. You won't believe what he said about film executives and directors in Hollywood. But tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. <laughs> He's coming for you. He's coming for you. In case you're wondering, Ronan Farrow is an American investigative journalist known for exposing Harvey Weinstein's sexual abuse. So the fact that Rick says here that Ronan is coming for the Hollywood executives, he's not so subtly saying they're all sexual abusers. And just in case that isn't clear yet, check out what he says in his next breath. Talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. It was a big year for pedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Look at his face. Yep, if Ricky ever had a motto, it'll certainly be I don't care. Because not only did he imply these executives are sexual predators, he directly called them perverts. And even named dropped some of their movies as promoting pedophilia. Clearly they won't like that, but then again, he doesn't really care. Now moving away from Hollywood directors and film executives, Caitlyn Jenner was also one of Ricky's call-out victims. And it all started when the woke mob came for him for daring to even say the name Bruce Jenner. Am I willing to learn? And I found out my crime was that I dead named her. Now, I'd never heard that term, you know, before a day after the Golden Globes. And that was saying her old name and even acknowledging that she used to be a man. Sure, Ricky sounds very polite and accommodating here, but in his usual humorous and witty way, he turns around to drop this truth bomb. I saw him on the Olympic Games. It was, a, it was the Catholic, it was in everything. It was all over the place. It shot put and pole vault. Is, he won a medal. He was famous. He was on telly all the time, but, you know, a big, famous... Man, with a huge, I don't know, but I mean, I'm guessing probably <laughs> he's a big, but I've learned my lesson. Now, I'd never dead name her now. Now I know it's wrong. I'd never dead name her now. There to the left, if you dead name somebody, that is one of the most heinous crimes in their mind that you could possibly do. And if you don't believe me, you ask Chad GPT because it said, would you rather dead name Caitlyn Jenner or a nuclear holocaust to happen? And you want to know what Chad GPT said? It would be worse to dead name. What type of propaganda is the Hollywood left trying to push upon us all? It was so outrageous that Caitlyn Jenner saw it and tweeted back, no, it would be far worse to have a nuclear holocaust and call me Bruce. But Ricky is the best because he realizes how outrageous all of this sounds. And he's not afraid to say it directly to their faces. I love it. He knows how to put these elitists back in their place. It's the best. Brings everyone back to the reality of the fact that she used to be a man and he was not going to ignore it. No one else should. But in a brilliant way, his joke here also highlights how silly the term dead naming is. Obviously coined by woke people, Ricky basically is saying here that because someone has transitioned doesn't mean their former gender suddenly doesn't exist anymore. But after all that truth bomb, he goes further to mock and tease Caitlyn Jenner and how stupid he thinks transitioning is. Fine, if that's the rules, you are what you feel. If you feel you're a woman, that makes you a woman. Cool. You know, I'm not one of these bigots that think having all that done is science going too far. You know? In fact, I don't think it's going far enough. Because <laughs> I've always identified as a chimp, right? Well, I am a chimp. I, if I say I'm a chimp, I am a chimp, you know? Not only was that a snide remark at Caitlyn, it was a snide remark at the entire woke mob. But then, what he did next was a direct shade at dead naming and the ridiculousness of it all. And don't ever dead name me. Don't ever call me Ricky Gervais again. From now on, you call me Bobo. So... 
In a way, Bobo is just reminding everyone that if you want to be called something else, you better be ready for everyone to have a bit of fun with it too. Classic Ricky stirring the pot like that. At this point, it's clear how Ricky feels about Hollywood celebrities trying to get all political. In case you missed it earlier, hear it again from the horse's mouth. If you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So you can imagine how the internet went berserk when he posted a video taunting Hollywood influencers and celebrities who try to sway their fans politically. It was a hilarious satire, but the message in it rings loud and clear. Hi guys, Ricky G here, wellness and beauty influencer. As a celebrity, I know all about stuff, like science and politics. So trust me when I tell you who you should vote for. If you don't vote the right way, that's like a hate crime, and it makes me sad and angry, and I'll leave the country, and you don't want that. It's only funny because it's true. There are people that think like that. How many woke celebrities said, if Donald Trump wins his next election, I'm going to move to Canada. Like, do they expect us to sit there and say, no, no, Kathy Griffin, please stay in America. We need you. We need you. Like, these people are so delusional. We don't give a dang. You want to move to Canada? Go ahead, move. Clear the American people want Trump as president. So why don't you just go ahead and kick rocks and get out of here? own political agenda, which they really aren't equipped to do, they sway their unsuspecting fans. And that's a big problem. But besides that, Ricky finds it absurd that any celebrity would influence things they have no clue on. And so, in one short video, he calls out all the political Hollywood celebrities all at once. So far, he has called out Hollywood actors, directors, and film executives. He's not even nearly done, because he goes on to destroy woke American entertainment journalists. And again, he did it to their faces. At the Golden Globes Awards, I mean, just take a look at how shocked Tom Hanks is. Many talented people of color were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, fifth time, so. Look at his face. But like, that was not enough. In another year at the Golden Press. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables, as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. By calling them vegetables, Ricky may have been implying that they don't really do their jobs or do much at all. But you know how woke people seem to present themselves as morally upright and better than everyone else? Through virtue signaling and other tactics, they make it look like you're not a good person if you don't believe in their ideologies. Well, in the same Golden Globe monologue, Ricky completely destroys all the woke celebrities who act like they're better than everyone else by pointing out a single flaw in their systems. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? Apparently, Ricky is calling out the fact that these Hollywood stars who call themselves woke are actually hypocritical when it comes to the brands they work for. They seem okay ripping off thousands of other people if it enriches them. And they don't care if a brand exploits workers in their sweatshops. All that matters is if they're getting paid. For woke celebrities who keep virtue signaling, Ricky believes this is hypocritical. But one celebrity that Ricky seems to always attack is Steve Carell. Why? Well, it appears Ricky believes Steve is ungrateful for his role in the show, The Office, which was created, written, and directed by Ricky Gervais himself, and he cast Carell in it. Or maybe it's because Ricky believes Steve is hogging all the credit for himself. Either way, there seems to be some bad blood between the two. You probably know me as the creator of The Office. <laughs> no, you don't, do you? You think Steve Carell did it all? Oh, he's brilliant, isn't he, Steve Carell? <laughs> he's amazing as the bumbling office manager. Where does he get his ideas from? <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay. Now, was Steve being serious with that non-verbal threat? Well, you tell us. What do you think? On one hand, it appears to be banter between the two of them. But this next clip would make you wonder. He was a jobbing actor, career not going that well, if I'm being totally honest, who, who got his big break when I cast him in a remake of a show that I created called The Office. He's now leaving that show and killing a cash cow for both of us. Please welcome the wonderful Tina Fey and the ungrateful Steve Carell. Ha, 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 ha.
So, what do you think is really going on here? Is there some bad blood between the two? Nah, I don't think there's any bad blood between the two of them. That's Steve Carell's style of humor. It's very dry, deadpan. But perhaps there is some underlying issues between the two of them. I mean, when everyone talks about The Office, they only talk about Steve Carell's version, and Ricky Gervais's one does get slept on by a lot of people. I'll tell you what, Ricky Gervais has balls of steel because he's going after and he's exposing a lot of very powerful people in the world today. It seems like he's doing it without a second thought. He's going head to head against all these people and he's calling them out on their hypocrisy. We need to bring back comedians who are unafraid of the woke mob because once you apologize to them once, that is never enough. They will always ask for more and more out of you. And if we had more comedians like Ricky Gervais who just don't give a dang whatsoever, they're gonna say whatever they wanna say. And if it offends you, then kick rocks. They don't give a dang. If we had more people like that, society would be far better off because what they're trying to tell us today is that jokes aren't jokes. You can't talk about certain things because it may offend this person or that person. How about no, if you're offended, don't watch it. Simple as that. Ricky Gervais is a hero to all hardworking people around the globe. He's got hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank, so he doesn't have to worry about going broke. He has all the resources necessary to speak the truth and not be afraid of all these Hollywood lunatics. Plain and simple, this man is a breath of fresh air and he came through when we needed him the most. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think Steve Carell and Ricky Gervais are bickering with one another truly? And can you think of any other Hollywood celebrities like Ricky who goes out on a limb and stands up for what they believe in? Let me know. I'd love to hear that. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe, and wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.